Good day, it's Mike the Ice Ram W. We're going to talk about using your Flex 6600 for satellite work and how we make use of uh, the transverters that we're going to use and uh, how I use SAP PC32. But the concept is the same, so hopefully it will give you a bunch of different ideas. Um, I'm a big fan of the Q5 signal transverters, however, feel free to use whatever transverter you, you want to use and uh, have it configured correctly. I'm not going to go down the in-depth configuration of that, but if you've never used a 6600 or a 6700 with two sets of um, cat ports, uh, or cat ports, or two transverter ports, let's have a look really quickly what that looks like. And in the transverter area, you'll see I actually have a 10 gig one as well, but uh, this is where you set them up. Uh, I called it 144. It, my receive frequency starts at 144 meg, and the IF is 28 meg. This is data you need to get from your transverter manufacturer. This is a typical setup. Uh, it automatically computes the local oscillator offset of 116 meg. And uh, the flex radio has a maximum power of 10 dBm. Uh, on a Q5, you, uh, there's a way to align that. It's in the instructions for the Q5 transverter. Generally, you're going you're gonna to say 10 dBm here, and then when you use the power control on the radio, it will be a 0 to 100% value of this 10, P 10 dBm drive. The same is also true for 432. I called it 432. My transverter receive frequency starts at 432 meg. And uh, the IF frequency, the radio, the, the frequency the radio actually operates at is 28 meg. And that's a difference of 404. Again, same story, that's calculated automatically. Um, I, um, let's do this first. I have two global profiles because most of my satellite work is either mode B, which is I'm receiving on VHF and transmitting on UHF, or mode J, which is the other way around. I'm uh, receiving on UHF and transmitting on VHF, like RS-44. So I set this all up uh, for me. Uh, I, uh, these are just my birdies. Uh, these are actually land cable noises. Uh, I can live with them, but that's just uh, me. And actually, you'll see this power supply here I haven't found yet. But, you know, it's not anywhere I'm operating, so I'm not really concerned. But you would set this up. My VHF transverter is connected to port... Uh, a, I do not use split IF, just basic simple IF. I think that works incredibly well. Transverter, transverter A, transverter A uh, on VHF, you know, 145.9 or so. And transverter B, transverter B. Uh, make, I have my preamps turned up all the way up, you know, just do it for both. You don't need it. And then I adjust, uh, you know, just send it that way. Obviously, we're not going to be listening in this case on UHF. And then I have my AGCT set accordingly. And I have full duplex turned on, which means I'm transmitting and receiving simultaneously. I'm transmitting here on, on port B, on transverter port B, and I'm receiving on transverter port A. Wonderful. Then I save that as a global profile. I go into profile, save global profile. I have a bunch of profiles, but you know this is my mode B. If I just click on it or I type it in SAT mode B and I hit save and it remembers where I am. Uh, and to show you how that works, let's go to mode J, which is the other way around. So long before I ever operate the first time, I go into profiles. Uh, I'm going to load my mode J and you'll see everything sort of flips all around. Uh, if you don't see the VFOs, which we don't hear, look over here. You can just click on, double click on that, and it'll bring it into focus. Here's the transmit B. Uh, it'll bring it into focus now. Look at we're upside down, or this just, and uh, we're now mode B is where we're receiving on 435 and, or mode A transverter port B, and re, and transmitting on transverter port A. Excellent. Uh, ignore the wide uh, message. That's okay. Uh, this shows us how uh, how much gain we have, and don't forget to adjust your AGCT accordingly when you're actually operating. Um, great. And by the way, I think we've got a pass of RS-44 coming up, so hopefully we get this done in time to have a listen. 
Now, I'm not going to go into in-depth on SAP PC32. Yeah, we got 22 minutes. I'll, uh, I'll try to make that happen. I use SAP PC32. You can use other programs. The concept is fairly similar. So how does it work basically? This is my cat control panel. Obviously, I've got a lot of you know, a lot of things here because I do a lot of testing. Yours will not have all these, but you will need to create two cat ports. And you're going to do them in cat first to set them up. Uh, I have cat 9. Let's open this up. Uh, it's uh, I called it Sat A, you know, satellite slice A. It's a cat serial uh, flex. These are all normal, and I'm going to take the next number. In my case, it's nine. Whatever it gives you, use that number. It may be different. What is um, important? Uh, VFO slice B, uh, slice alpha A, and um, auto switch TX enabled and hit save. That'll take about 10 seconds before it's saved. And then we look here, I created a second one. Same idea, but I called it Sat B. Uh, the name is not important, it's just a name. Uh, this is important, this is important, this is important. This is assigned, COM10, and it's assigned to Slice B. Again, that's critical. Uh, you'll hit save, takes about 10 seconds. All right, now the radio is set up to receive commands from Sat PC32, uh, or whatever. Uh, satellite program you want and this could even be a Mac but the concepts the same the satellite program believes that it's communicating with two different radios and your 6600 or your 6700 is like two different radios so we'll go uh, quickly uh, into radio setup here I'm not going to go through it in depth but I'm going to show you what you want to try to achieve so radio one is a Kenwood called it a TS2000 because Flex Radio CAC control is Kenwood format. And you'll see here that I have it set to COM, COM port 9. Uh, the delay, I think I just went with the default, but you want this number to match this number that you created for the first radio. Great. You don't need these all checked. Uh, don't need all these checked. You're not going into a satellite mode. And then, guess what? Same idea for Radio 2, Kenwood TS2000. And guess what? COM10 and uh, COM10, where we had set that up right here, which I had showed you. And what this means is SAP PC32 is going to send commands uh, to COM9 and COM10 as required. I am not going to go into a whole setup of SAP PC32, but I do have another video of that on my own personal um, uh, site you can just Google um, or search in YouTube for SAP PC32 and VA3MW about the learning curve of using SAP PC32. I found it incredibly frustrating, but once I got to use it, it was it was great. All right, um, we'll close that. We didn't change anything. We're RS484 is coming up in 19 minutes, and uh, I selected A down here. RS44. I'm going to turn on my rotor control and I'm going to turn on my CAC control. And uh, I don't know if you saw underneath, uh, but um, the frequency changed uh, here. You'll know now, see now, we'll make this a bit smaller so it just fits on the screen, that we're now uh, tracking the frequencies. Um, the satellite's below the horizon, but we see it coming up. And we will pause uh, for a few minutes, and hopefully you'll see exactly how it works. Probably won't make a QSO. But I'll show you a bunch of quick tricks. All right, we're back online. And we can, uh, we see I'm here in FN03. Here's the footprint for RS44. And we always try to listen for the beacon off the satellite. Uh, I'm using a um, I'm using a 24 element beam. I don't have a preamp. It's on a rotor. You can see we're tracking it. It's keeping it simple. We heard the update there. It sort of shifted frequency. That's all cool. I need to get a I need to get a preamp up at the top, but that's just for me. Uh, but I have successfully used this satellite with a seven element UHF quad and a four element two meter quad. You will need a beam. Uh, RS-44 is pretty high, but it gives us lots of time to do cool things. 
And um, so what I'm going to do now is um, uh, pop this back up and switch back to the operational frequencies. This is part of CAT. I'm not going to go into this. This is uh, outside the scope of what we're doing right now. And uh, we can see people starting to tune. We're going to zoom in a bit. And you know what? We don't need necessarily need the bottom. And here's the beauty of a flex. I just saw him calling. I'm going to go off his frequency, and I'm going to net my um, um, tra up and down link. Uh, different w do it in different ways and different radios, but I'll tell you an easy way. If we hit tune, there we're hearing my downlink off the satellite. That's why we want to be in full duplex. I'm going to hit. I'm going to turn my tune power way down. Going to hit tune, and I can adjust that. Oh, wrong way. Down here by changing my uplink calibration and uh, I just leave that alone and now we'll go back here we'll take it off tune and we are now where we transmit we will be heard uh, let's go up here and listen to this person I can't hear the other guy we'll zoom in a bit more and we'll get rid of the panel on the side. Did you know if you hit the angel on the bottom, you can get rid of the side panel? And and we'll just uh, pause around. Okay, let's get, there we go. And he's still calling. So you, this person's trying to find his downlink. And obviously he's... Not in good shape. He's overdriving okay, the radio. Uh, Kilo two, Victor Lima, Quebec, I believe it was. Fox November. And I'm not touching the mouse or my frequency. Four, the radio is now adjusting and the we're frequency. In Echo Lima nine seven, West Central Florida. Uh, Roger, Roger. Uh, my name is Vince Victor India November Charlie Echo, and we are in Foxtrot November two zero, Northern New Jersey. And we're there he goes. Good morning. Good morning. And he's definitely got something wrong Roger, in his uplink. Well, probably overdriving before, the uh, nice transverter. Yeah, I, uh, the I have again uh, not touched. Uh, not touched the uh, mouse of the VFO, and notice we're staying right on frequency. Sat PC32 is sending commands. And uh, this is pretty cool. Now, if I wanted to talk, I would just get the foot switch and give him a call. And, uh, wow, that's not good. This is not good operating by this person. So let's go listen to this guy. And he's calling CQ, I bet. You saw this move. This is Kilo Golf Six Charlie India Hotel. Kilo Golf Six Charlie India Hotel. One thing that someone told me, and I do this all the time on my uplink. Um, oops, didn't want to do that. I just opened another pan adapter, but it's certainly not what I. November November Alpha, or November Alpha Alpha, I believe, isn't that right? I'm going to just mute him. As I change my low cut really high, I get rid of the bottom end. I go to 250. And I, this around 2,900 to 3,000. I get great audio reports even on the satellites. Victor Alpha 3, November, November Alpha. KG6 CIH. I'm in Fox November 4 2. Good to talk to you again. Yeah, QSL, QSL, QSL. And if I need to touch up a little bit, I can move my mouse wheel or a flex control knob, or even better would be to um, turn on uh, RIT. And uh, this is better with a flex control knob or a maestro. But we can just start uh, moving our, uh, tra our receiver RIT up and down if you needed to. 
Um, I much prefer the smart control on a maestro for this or um, my flex control knob for using uh, XIT or RIT. And here's somebody else looking for their downlink. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And we'll go back here. Just double click. I used to operate uh, many years ago and it had a big absence and now we're back. So we'll say 7-3 from Florida. This is Kilo 4, Romeo Sierra. Hello. Kilo 4, Romeo Sierra. And the nice thing too, you want to find somebody else? Oh look, somebody's calling CQ up here. Somebody's wandering all up here. Oh look at this, it's going to get a little tight so we can... Um, Maybe go to a narrower... Well, I'm already at 2.7. I could go to 2.4. And we'll just... And you can get rid of all this, by the way, just by doing that. Let's readjust. Now, this person's chasing their signal. Maybe? All right, I got you there. Yeah, thanks a lot. I was a little off frequency. I'm in Fox November 4 2, Southern New Hampshire. <laughs> and I would probably then use my X uh, RIT to adjust to hear him, which you can do over here too. CQ, CQ, CQ from Kilo Golf 6, Charlie India Hotel. <laughs> And there's an example of somebody with a mic issue. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From Kilo Golf. Uh, 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 I'm glad you're talking. That's pretty good. Um, nice to hear you uh, down here in Florida today. Kitty 2 VLQ. The person's probably driving just a little bit hard. Uh, your signal doesn't need to be that loud. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed how you can get going on SAT PC32 with a Flex 6600, et cetera, 73, have a good day.